A new report from the Violence Policy Center shows Nevada has the second highest rate of deadly domestic violence cases in the nation. Metro hosted a ceremony today to honor the victims of domestic violence. And earlier this week, a state assemblywoman proposed a new law to require the parole board to consider an inmate's history of domestic violence before granting parole. I think that it's important that we acknowledge a history of domestic violence because domestic violence is often linked to a series of crimes. I think it's something that we really have to take a hard look at and see what, um, what that law would look like. The latest report on domestic violence was released ahead of Domestic Violence Awareness Month, which is next month.